Okay, this one. We're gonna try to bomb this right through there and break that one off as it goes past. It'll fling it that way. Damn, you don't have to watch for that. And there should be a pretty good wobble on my spar. You'll see this is pretty husky, so it's, I'm thankful right now for my backup over there because it's gonna wobble it pretty good. <laughs> that thing is springy it didn't break it but it went through it so that's good did you see the little one break off it was kind of nifty it shot over and into that little into that spruce tree <laughs> This one right here, I could, I could break it off with my hands, and it's, it's fatty. Being careful not to bump it. So YouTube, what do you think? This big limb totally married to the fur and it's it's married in there big time. What I'll try to do is hook it out there and then cut it off here and hopefully the weight of the butt will pull it out of there. Okay. brushed me really hard on my right arm the one that I boogered up already so here I am out you can see how bad it's gonna want to hang up it goes out and then branches out on the other side so I'll at least make it butt heavy by hooking it here and cutting back there and we'll see if we can get it
Keep it up tight. I also put a tag line on it, YouTube, so that if it does hang up, they'll be able to pull on it some. I never saw that when I bid the tree. One of those things that you wish you would have noticed, although I probably wouldn't have changed it. Because I'm Superman when I'm doing bids. Oh, you ready? Awesome. We're good to go GPS or You want to do the whole, well, that, that tree will get in the way. I'll do one. Okay. Uh, no, it's not huge. <laughs> both of them yeah it's the same it's not heavier
Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're the man. Is my rope hung up on something? Uh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I had to go all evil laugh with it. I'm gonna rig this just so you don't have it all out in those bushes. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it right off at the base. Yeah, don't worry about me. Do whatever. Maybe just hold it up, let it swing over, and then when it comes back, lower it. I'll take it back as soon as you're ready. Was that butter or what? After we're done, you guys will have to move that pile and rake under it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> camera up just in case it goes horribly wrong. I only like to record whenever I'm expecting Liking that no moral. I'm gonna change my name to Carl. You could call me No Moral Carl. <laughs> Because it's cooler than not. <laughs> if I can, I will. So this one might look funny to you, but because it's crossing my rope. But when this top goes out, it's going to be under my rope and it's not going to be a conflict. It's going to be a pretty juicy piece. Ready for the spar wobble over there, the one I'm hooked to. But I still have, it's still backed up. Like this pretty good size whippy action that's gonna happen, but it's still backed up the lowering rope. <laughs> Woo! 
See my little Nike swoosh? You're going for a ride. <laughs> challenge these ones that you want them to go away from you but they don't lean away from you and you're gonna have a rope across to you and a bunch of weight if you don't do it right so you end up in some pretty awkward little spots so now I don't have a backed up rigging spar so I'll just probably push chunks down right there I can't go that way because of the leech field, but I can go here. I would go far away. Chunking into wood piles can make some crazy ricochets, is why I was more telling him. He knows, but I thought he should move. As long as your eyeballs are on it, then you can dodge when the time comes, hopefully. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Joe Johnson 200T, huh? This thing is a beast. off the last uh, limb over the back so like that whole thing's dead the one I'm standing on um, I would take this whole thing if I still had this bar where it's rotten there backed up but since it's rotten I'll play a little safe and I'll take one side and then the log there like, I think it would be okay, but, you know, I am tied to it. Like, if you dared me to, and you were, you know, reputable, I'd do it. I'd be like, oh yeah, let's do this. Or if you started showing me the money, I'd do it. Those are the kind that'll spear you if you're not careful. I think I'll take this in three, uh, the whole thing in three pieces. So I'll do that and then the butt. Take it easy on my spot. tricky because I didn't want it slamming back into me. Was it hot? Nope. <laughs> 
He did that on my hand, so. What's that smell? <laughs> it smells like rubber. Yeah, there. He's going by hand, and he's going through a block. No friction. So now it's we're just down to chunk work. Push chunks out of this thing. This is a really cool area. This valley from up here is nice. Those buildings over there, that's called the manor. Those are landmarks for pilots that come in. The tower talks about them all the time. They say, let us know when you're over the manor. That's Roxy Ann over there. And then right about when you come into key position for landing and you're in the traffic pattern over there, that little raised area is called the nipple. And it's a great landmark for pilots. Over here is Table Rock. Been up there a few times. So now we just old time Pacific Northwest. You just chunk it all down into the hole there in small pieces and you're done. Right there I use the deep notch because I'm at an awkward angle I use the deep notch to get it to tip this way because of the structure below so now I just chunk out the big stuff I put it in wood size for the homeowner he's carving the butt kind of like that other carving out front so this will be like 10 footer when I'm done 10 foot tall <laughs> I'm not really thinking much of anything anymore. I'm like, you're done with it. Over it.